Welcome to News York Times. Please subscribe for more recent breaking news updates. Early 2020 polling spells red tsunami crashing down on Democrats so, when the rigged fake media polls start showing President Trump closing in, you know the reality is a lot rosier for us. And that's exactly what 2020 polls are already showing. Add to that, Trump's top adviser Stephen Miller says internal 2020 polling numbers are even better than 2016 internal numbers. And we all know how that race turned out. From Washington Examiner President Trump has chipped away at big Democratic leads in a key 2020 election survey, and top aide Stephen Miller said that internal polls show the president doing even better than in 2016 when he beat Hillary Rodham Clinton. In the new survey from Zogby Analytics, the gap between leading Democrats including former Vice President Joe Biden and Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders has tightened, though the Republican still trails considerably. Trump, however, beats rising Democratic star Senator Kamala Harris by three points. Overall, the data points to Trump making gains with his base and key groups such as NASCAR fans and Walmart shoppers. The president is also making small gains with key Democratic groups such as millennials, Generation Z, independents and women, while his Democratic rivals are losing ground with these groups, said the analysis of the poll, a redo of a January 2020 survey. This is all simultaneously happening while Republicans are making gains against Democrats regarding the congressional midterms. It added that the nationwide online survey of 881 likely voters has a margin of error of plus or minus 3.2 percentage points. Since January, Biden's lead over Trump has dropped 5 points, to 48 percent to 38 percent. Biden is doing well with some voters associated with Trump. President Trump struggles against Biden because Biden beats the president with his base of voters those who frequently shop at Walmart. 43% to 42%, and voters with no college education, Biden leads 44% to 40%, while Trump wins 53% to 39% with NASCAR fans. All these categories have tightened between the two candidates since January, but Biden still leads with most groups, especially important groups that are favorable to Trump, said the poll. The lead held by Sanders also dropped and is at 48% to 42%. Sanders is winning men and independents against Trump, said Zogby. Sanders' numbers are down slightly outside the margin of error this time around, especially with many key groups such as millennials, Walmart shoppers and minorities, the survey analysis explained. Warren also saw her lead over Trump cut by three points, and is now 43 percent to 37 percent. Unlikely 2020 candidates Oprah Winfrey and former First Lady Michelle Obama also do well over Trump. Winfrey leads 53% to 47%. Obama's lead is 48% to 39%. Rising potential Democratic candidates, Senators Cory Booker and Kamala Harris, struggle against Trump. Harris loses in the new poll, 36% to 39% for Trump. Booker is tied at 38 percent. Top Trump aide Stephen Miller told Secrets that the administration's internal polls are better. Our poll numbers are better today than they were on Election Day, Miller told Secrets. In today's country with the non-stop negativity in the media and everything else the political success that we're having and what you're seeing in the numbers, the generic ballot and everything else, is all enormously positive, he added. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more top breaking news updates. Thank you.